Hey there, everybody! How's it going? Welcome back to another episode of my KSP Let's Play. And just like everybody else this week that's on YouTube and plays this wonderful game, Yipper, that's right, point two one is finally out. Let's check this baby out. I actually haven't played with it too much. Uh, I jumped into it a little bit just to check out some of the new things, but I have yet to start a game, as you can see. I have not transferred over any of my stuff yet. I, I don't know if I will. Oh wow, that's that is trippy indeed. We'll go with a trippy flag. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know if I will transfer my save or not. I might just start a brand new game because I kind of want to start from scratch. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, as it is, I'm not abandoning my idea of uh, building that giant robot in space, but we will do that at some other point. Yes. I might actually end up uh, starting Season 3. I'm making air quotes right now with my fingers. I, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah, some awesome changes in this. First of all, I, this is pretty obvious right here. Look at this beautiful space center we got now. Everything has been remodeled. We also now have the astronaut complex where you can uh, hire astronauts. So I guess we only have uh, the three dudes right now. All right. Fair enough. I'm pretty sure you can always uh, just add your own astronauts in here and then add those guys to missions. So that's good stuff. All right, what else is there? Oh man, this looks awesome. I love all these new models. And this, unfortunately, you cannot click on it, but that is mission control, apparently. Uh, everything else should still be the same. Oh wow, that's uh, pretty cool. So that's the, the new launch menu, I suppose. Funky. Oh, you can sort by parts and stuff. Hey, that's really cool. Good job, guys. What's the green thing there mean? Oh, I guess that's the thing you have selected. All right, never mind. Sweet. This is cool. I don't know what I'm doing here, but okay, I guess uh, that's how you assign guys to it. So on the left there, you see uh, if you have crew capacity in your current uh, vehicle. I guess this doesn't have uh, crew capacity? Oh, I guess not. Alright, well, still, that's uh, that's pretty funky, and I bet that this is different. Whoop, I did not mean to click on that yet. Okay. Well, I guess we'll check this out first. I was just going to click on the um, the airway, or the air, airway? What the hell is an airway? The airstrip, because uh, I assume it has the same sort of menu. But yeah, they've also redone the space plane hangar and the VAB inside. You can see it looks much awesomer now. They have lights that work most of the time. They have some crazy Kerbals driving around. Oh, wow, that was an accident waiting to happen right there. Still looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I know you can also, yep, you can also add descriptions to your ships now. Awesome. And yep, they're they're moving in the direction of career mode. This is all going towards career mode, all these little things. It's not game changing things that they've added, it just makes the game look better and function a little better. Make it less of a sandbox. As much fun as it is in sandbox mode, I'm sure career mode will be a blast as well. Because it'll probably be just a modified sandbox mode. And then we have the tracking center, which I don't think they've changed anything in here. Nope, everything still looks the same. They do have some new uh, models and textures and stuff too. I know they redid the moon, like, completely. Look at all those craters, that looks amazing. And this is actually one of the reasons why it, uh, it breaks save games, because the moon is so completely different that, well, if you have something on the moon, it uh, it won't be there anymore. Wow, that looks awesome. I want to send something out there soon. That's cool. All right. Yeah, that's still all the same up there. Still all the same goodies here. Yep. All righty. I actually haven't really looked into all of the new changes. So uh, this, uh, this sort of uh, let's look at point two one is kind of uh, me figuring stuff out on my own. But, you know, I'm sure most of the changes that are not visible are small things underneath the surface that just make the game run better. Because we definitely still need optimization in this game. Yep, there's a new VAB. 
Looking good. Alright, well, let's check out some of the uh, new parts we have. I know we have some new probes, do we not? I think these are new. That one and this one. Maybe? Oh, it's inside. That's still inside. That's not attaching. There we go. I think those are new. I could swear this one was there before. Nah, whatever. Alright, oh yeah, they did also make one huge change to uh, the SAS system. As you'll see here on the pod, it says SAS Equip now. So, yeah, SAS doesn't quite work. Sorry about my mouse going crazy there. Got some dirt in the uh, optic lens there. Anyways, uh, yeah, the SAS doesn't quite work like it used to. Um, you now have a lot of control when you're when the SAS is on. You're still able to control your ship. It doesn't just lock you into place. So these modules, yeah, they're they're a little different. Everything's gonna be a little different. Um, I don't. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, so you can see the uh, the torque on these things. It now tells you all the the torque that it can give you. So let's look at this for example. That's the uh, the three man capsule. It's got 15, 15 units of torque, I guess. For pitch on roll and then if you check out the SAS for example it has a bit more but it now also uses electric charge you can see that under required resources there so yeah and now you don't just have magical capsules that power themselves you you need batteries you need RTGs you need solar panels all that good stuff all right let's check out some of the engines here I know they added yeah so they have this little guy now Awesome on the bottom there, so that is the equivalent of this radial engine that we had before, but now it is, uh, what's that called, in, in line? Yes, it's, it's in a line. Yes, I know what I'm talking about. Then we also have the uh, ant engine turned into a uh, radial engine. That's, that's cool. Is that a new fuel tank? It is a new fuel tank. You got 45 units of fuel in there. Oh, dang, that's tiny. How much is that? Uh, okay, that's that's much smaller. 45. What's the next biggest one? That one? Okay, so it's half of this one. Half of this one. Fair enough. Alright, sounds good. Always nice to have a bit more options when it comes to your, your fuel carrying capacity. New RCS tank looks like it. Yep, tiny RCS tank. Half of that one. Alrighty. And another fuel tank. A radially mounted fuel tank. Awesome. Oh, that's RCS. Cool. So that's 150, and these are 40. Oh, Alright. Checking out the mass there. 0 0.75, 0 0.23. So that's what, four of these? 160, roughly. Yeah, they're okay, they're, so it's roughly the same ratio. Still, awesome. Alright, control, that looks like it's all the same. Uh, anything under structure? Oh, wow, yeah, indeed. Yes, very nice. We finally have bicouplers and quad couplers and tricouplers. Wait, these aren't couplers, adapters. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Sweet. And what is this? A tiny adapter. All right. Still, I've been looking forward to these for a long, long time now. I mean, you are able to add them with mods, so that that's always an option to add these things with mods, obviously. But having them be part of the stock program now is even better because I like to stick with stock parts. I mean, we did have. We didn't. We never had this one before, did we? I know we had the this tricoupler before. Maybe we did have the quad one as well. See, that's, that's what confuses me there. It says that, just remember this is not a decoupler and will not separate stages. Why is it called a decoupler? Dang it, make things confusing for me. Just call it an adapter. But yeah, either way, these are awesome. These will certainly provide for some very uh, wacky, wacky rocket designs. All right, anything in here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Utility. A new battery. Yep, looks like we got a bigger battery there. All right. 
What is that? Oh, cool. Rarely mounted xenon container. Very nice. How much can it carry? 400 and 700. All right. Anything else? Oh, that's the senior docking port. No new lights, no new wheels, and all the science stuff. All right, so all in all, not a lot of new parts, but just a lot of parts that make things a lot more convenient for the whole build process. So thank you guys for that awesome addition. Cool, cool. Let us actually go and launch something. So I want to try the new SAS system. See how poorly I do with it. Because I'm gonna jump into a plane and I suck at flying planes. I suck. I do love it. Oh, oh my god, you can rotate it now. That is awesome. Actually, I knew about that. I just completely forgot until I right clicked now. Cool. Alright. And I believe it does also have uh, the night day cycle as well. Before it was just a static image. Now this actually relates to what's going on in the world. If it's daytime, it's, well, it's daytime at the Space Center. Anyway, I want to jump in here. And I would like to fly something. Let's go with a 3-8. No, let's go with... It'd be cool if they actually had a, um, a small window here that showed you a preview of the ship. That'd be interesting. There's an idea. Let's go with one of the Raven Spears Mark IV. Okay, I don't know if I've ever flown the Mark IV. Let's uh, launch. Launch? Launch. There we go. Yes, let's see what happens. So I do want to go check out the, the island. I know that's all been changed. A lot of the terrain has been just remodeled and everything just looks so much sexier. There's the mountains just uh, over there. Uh, I guess that's, that's west of the Space Center. And those look so much cooler now. I was watching, I think it was Scott Manley's preview. One of the previews. One of the, uh, the media team guys did a preview on it. And... Uh, they actually missed it, but they flew over something that I saw in a valley there. Or maybe they saw it, and I don't know what I'm talking about. Either ways, let's get going. Let's let's fly. Turn on the SAS. Oh, baby. Look at this. Man, this just looks really cool. Did they change the engines? I could swear these look different. But anyways, yeah, so SAS is on, but I can still do stuff. And it locks me into place when I'm moving around, which is really cool. I must turn around. Yes, yes, this is totally not how you fly. I think I'm going a bit too fast. Let's uh, slow her down a little bit. Oh man, I can swear if I had a joystick right now, Things would be so much better. No, that's a lie. I can't really fly with the joystick. I just, I still find flying in KSP is super awkward. I don't know what it is about it. It just, it's so twitchy because it's, it's analog with the keyboard, so you don't have as much control. It'd be cool if I could fly with, uh, like, my Xbox controller or something. This is a sweet little ship. Oh, I wanted to go to the island, didn't I? Oh well, I guess we're going over there now. I do love this new SAS though, this is this is awesome. Because before when you were flying ships with uh, like planes, when you are flying planes with the SAS, it'd be such a pain in the butt. You would have to constantly be turning it off and on and adjusting as you're moving around and stuff. But, oh man, it's so much better. I love it. No, we're not flying in a straight line. It's, uh, we're pitching down. Oh, we're pretty good. We're level. It's cool. Were those effects there before? Like the, the air flying by your... Uh, the air flying by your stuff. <laughs> is what I was going to say. The, uh, the air just going around the... Well, I guess the legs in that case. Because that's not as aerodynamic as the front here. I don't know if you guys can see that or if I'm just crazy. It looks like there's a little bit of like vapor trail flying past the legs there. 
Yeah, you can see it there too, and you can see out the wings. Man, I love this game. I was, I don't want to say I was getting bored with it, but I was getting to the point where I was really tempted to start installing mods just so I could, well, get some other more interesting things happening. But I don't know, this, this revitalized me. It makes me all excited about the game again. Just that SAS, oh my god. Baby. What if I turn it off? If I turn it off, yeah, it starts drifting. So you can still fly without the SAS, but it's just, it's, it's nice. Good job, squad. You guys are amazing. I love you. And so should everybody, man. These guys are awesome. They've been around for, I mean, KSBs have been in development for... I honestly don't know how long, but it's been it's been a while. I I've, I've played it for several years. I, I think it's maybe been, been like three years it's been in development. I might be wrong, but either way, it's been around for a while, and they're still putting so much hard work into it because the community is so amazing. Like the community loves this game because well, it's an amazing game. It's basically what Minecraft was like when it first started. It was just there was so much to do. There was still so much unknown about it. So much possibility. And there still is. I mean, even with Minecraft, I, I I don't hate Minecraft, but you know, it's it's Minecraft. There's it's been done, and it's been around for a while, so it's it's Minecraft. There's not much more to say. It's good. It's not amazing. There's better games out there, I would say, but that's just personal opinion. But then you have KSP, which is is still super unique. There aren't many games like it. I know there are other games, like the voxel-based games, that try to do something like this. Like there's uh, StarMate, which is like basically Minecraft and KSP combined. And I'm just trying to find that thing that I saw before. That's why I'm flying around these mountains. I'm just flying around aimlessly. But yeah, it's still a, a fairly unique game. And it runs really well. It looks really good. The community is amazing. I'm, if you guys are watching this, then you already know what's going on because you love KSP. So yeah, all I gotta say is Squad is awesome, KSP community is awesome, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what else these guys can come up with. Is it in there? I'm gonna have to go in there. Let's turn SAS off and get a little crazy with our flying. Okay, too crazy, too crazy. Flip around. You know what, I'm going to keep flying with SAS because this new SAS is the Bomb Diggity. I love it. And yes, I did totally just say Bomb Diggity. There's, I think it's in that valley over there that I just passed. Alright, let's keep turning, turning, turning. I'm not going to be able to land down there, but I just, I remember seeing something sparkly down here. And I can't remember if this was here before or not. Yes, this is totally how you fly a plane. <laughs> yeah. Do not take piloting advice from this guy. Okay, just... Yeah, okay, I still need to change the controls. I keep forgetting to do that. I keep meaning to change the, uh, the roll and the yaw. Yeah, that's the... The yaw is left to right. I want to change the... I want to put roll on AMD and yaw on Q and E just because I'm more comfortable with that. Anyways, is there really nothing in there? I swear there is a thing down here. Come on, just turn around. I know you're not supposed to fly like this. No, I don't, I don't see anything. All right, maybe I'm going crazy. Let's uh, let's let's turn around and try to land, and then we'll call it an episode. I mean. It was really just... I wanted to show you guys .21. I'm sure everybody knows about it already, but... You know. Throw it out there. Throw a little quick video introducing it to everybody. Maybe some new viewers will catch this. Maybe some new KSP players will catch this. And we'll see my terrible, terrible attempts at flying a jet plane. Yeah. You know what? Can I land... Man, this thing is fast. This is a bad idea. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. This is not going to work. 
Can, can you guess what I'm trying to do? Probably. I'm sure you can. Oh crap, we're gonna run out of mountain! Hmm. Come on, guy. Just want you to land on top of mountain. Oh god, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Nope, 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 nope. Get out, get out, get out, get your bone. You're screwed, you're done. Okay. Well oh, that was kinda of cool if I like, loop back. Oopsies. I I done crashed, guys. <laughs> I messed up. Yeah, okay. I got distracted by these rocks. I I thought they were like sparkly bits. Usually when you see things sparkling, then that means it's a thing that you should come check out. But no, they just seem to be rocks or something. What are these? Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Yeah, it's just a rock. Alright, I'm just, I'm, I'm a going crazy. And well, I guess that's about as good a time as any to, to call this episode. As we're kind of hanging out on this mountain range here, mourning the loss of... Oh crap, was that Jebediah? I think that was Jeb, actually. And uh, well, while we're here, we might as well talk about what happens when you try to end the flight. And uh, just talk a little bit about the uh, astronauts before I, uh, before I ended up. And uh, yeah, so when you end a flight now, you don't have the end flight button anymore. You can revert to a launch or, well, the space plane hangar. So you can revert to a previous point in the flight. I think... I think it's only reverting to launch, but I'm not sure about that. Might be something like if you uh, reload the game, instead of reverting to launch, it says revert to the point where you loaded the game up. I don't know. Either way, you can't end flights anymore, you can't do that sort of cheaty thing. And that also has repercussions on your pilots. For example, Jeb is dead right now, so I can revert to launch and, you know, restart the whole thing and kind of sort of cheat my way that way and he'll be alive and you'd be able to do that with other pilots but if I were to just go to the space center well it's too late now that flight is done and Jeb is dead except he's not dead because apparently Jeb, Bill and Bob they they're invincible more or less they're clones so you know it's it's cool they're fine they'll come back other pilots on the other hand or other Kerbonauts that should really be called the Kerbonaut complex I don't know is it just me that calls them Kerbonauts can't be. But uh, yeah, all these other guys, well, they'll die permanently. So Jeb is gone right now, unfortunately. Yeah, missing an action. But hopefully he'll come back soon. Might be that Jeb, Bill, and Bob get missing in action and all these other guys get killed in action? I don't know. We'll find out. Actually, before I quit... Oh, whoops. He says, pressing the, the quit button. <laughs> I just wanted to... Let's Let's go back back real quick. Go back to default, yes. Yes, very good. Just wanted to check out these awesome uh, awesome models in the nighttime. Actually, I'm curious, can I fast travel, or fa not fast travel, um, time warp here in this, this screen here? Will it let me? No, it doesn't look like it. That'd be a cool feature if, you could, if they would let you time warp in this screen as well. But... Who cares, let's just go to... I'm not used to this new screen yet. Pull up a new vehicle here. And we'll just uh, do a little time warp action. At some point, I feel like the loading takes longer, but it's... It's better. Like that loading screen stays black for longer, but it just loads in a lot smoother. I don't know. I'd be going crazy. Anyway, let's just uh, do this, and whoop, do, oh crap, okay, that was like, wow, that was like two nights, yeah, there it is, that looks so awesome, yeah, I saw that before, it, everything lights up at night, that looks wicked, and if we go to the space center here, it'll be nighttime now, and we'll be able to look around at all the pretty lights, ooh, pretty, come on, hurry up, I want to see the pretty. There it is. Bird singing for some reason, but there it is. That looks wicked. Look at the space plane hangar. Good stuff, guys. Every single patch, more and more impressed as if that was even possible. This game is freaking awesome. If you haven't bought it yet, what are you doing? Get off your ass and get on that. 
Look at this. All right. I'm, I'm going to stop yelling at you guys now. And I'm going to call it an episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, let me, let me know what you thought and all that good stuff down below. And I'll be back in the next episode, possibly in point two one. Maybe I'll go back to point two zero and just uh, finish finish the mission that I was on. I'll probably have to do that, or not. I don't know. I'll figure something out. I'm a little indecisive nowadays. And uh, oh, also uh, do check out the uh, community build program that we we have recently started on the KSP forums. We've been planning this for a little while now. And basically, it's just going to be a bunch of uh, YouTubers, minor YouTubers. The criteria was a thousand subs and under. It was like such an arbitrary number, but, you know, whatever. So, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of us. There's 18 of us as it is right now. And we'll be building some stuff way up in space. Hopefully, we'll be able to populate the entire Kerbal system at some point in the future. But for now, we're just building a Kerbin station and a little fuel depot around Kerbin as well. So yeah, definitely uh, check that out. I've got a video for that. It should have gone up by this point, by the point that this video goes up anyways. And uh, there's also going to be some uh, links to threads and stuff in that video description. Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll shut up now because I kind of want to get back to playing Kerbal. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care.